Hello everyone, this is Sujatha from Informatica. In this video, I shall be explaining about how to create a JDBC connection in Informatica data quality. As you know, a JDBC connection has been introduced from Informatica 9.6 and now it is possible to connect to a relational database using a JDBC connection. This is only applicable for Informatica data quality services. The agenda for my video is configuration that is required from Informatica server end and required from the developer client machine to connect to the database using a JDBC connection. In this video I have taken an example of SQL Server and I shall be using a JDBC connection to connect to my SQL Server database. So at first I would need to have the corresponding uh, JDBC jar file. I have al already downloaded the jar file and placed them in my server machine. This is my Informatica server machine and uh, this is the location in far home external JDBC jar where I have to place in my uh, external JDBC jars. So uh, SQL JDBC 42.0.jar. This is a jar file which I'll be using to connect to SQL Server database. Uh, since I've already placed the jar file, the next step would be defining a variable so that the environment knows where the corresponding jar file is placed. So the jar environment variable is infra Java CMD class path. So this variable needs to have the path as well as the name of the jar file as well. So uh, say suppose if you have multiple jar files uh, for corresponding uh, database, you have to place all of them in this uh, variable uh, so that the environment picks up uh, to use the JDBC connection. So these are the two steps that needs to be performed uh, from the server end to use the JDBC connection. So now we can go to the admin console and create the corresponding SQL Server JDBC connection. I've already created one sample JDBC connection. So this is the name of my connection. The type of the connection is JDBC, the username, the password, JDBC driver class name. Now this depends on which jar file we are using to connect to the database. So uh, the name of the jar file has to be obtained externally. The connection string also for SQL Server this is the connection string. It depends on individual database for like Postgres it is something else. For Germ um, XD it is uh, a different connection string. So we have, we can actually Google to get the corresponding JDBC uh, class name and the connection string. Since my properties are configured, let me go and test the connection. Okay, so the connection is tested successfully. So uh, this is all from Informatica admin console. Now to use the JDB, same JDBC connection from developer client, we have to configure the client as well. We have to place the jar file in the client machine as well. This is my Informatica 961 client machine. Uh, so the jar file has to be placed at infra client install external JDBC jar location so uh, see here I have the same JDBC jar file placed in so um, that is all and then we can go to the develop we can launch the developer tool and uh, we can test the same connection that we had we just created in Informatica admin console so this is the connection that was created and if we test the connection it's successful so uh, we need not define any variable for the developer client to pick up the jar file. This is because uh, the developer code.ini file already has a variable defined to include uh, the external JDBC jar location. 
This is my developer core.ini file and as you see dinfa jdbc external jars this is the variable which is including the location of external jdbc jars so by uh, so e even if you have multiple jars you need not to uh, uh, specify the name of the corresponding jar star will um, take care of this so this is the step that is uh, from the developer client machine so by this I uh, finish my configuration from server and uh, client side to connect to database using a JDBC connection. Let me summarize uh, the steps that I had just mentioned. We need to place the JDBC jar file both at the server and client location and to get the corresponding jar file for a database the JDBC driver class name and the cor connection string it is best to Google by this I end my presentation we would love to hear from you from uh, support video at informatica.com you can also tweet us at tweet.com infasupport thank you